and that's the reason it makes Quran the most difficult book to translate not only does it make it the most difficult book to translate in fact it is a book which is impossible to translate yet alhamdulillah there are many scholars who have spent several years who have spent decades in doing research and have translated the glorious Quran into most of the major languages of the world even though I agree that no translation is 100% perfect because a translation is a human handiwork and the Arabic Quran is the word of Almighty God the Creator but in spite of that these translations at least they let us understand the basic message of the Quran the basic message of our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we Muslims we give excuses for not reading the translation of the Quran saying we are very busy we are very busy in our studies we are busy in our profession we are busy in our business most of us we have spent decades reading and memorizing volumes of books in schools and colleges as well as universities just to acquire a degree don't we have the time to read the message of our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How much time does it take to read the Quran? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad wa sallam, said, it's a Sahih Hadith in Tirmidhi, where he said that anyone who reads the Quran in less than three days, he has not understood the Quran. That means if we read the Quran with concentration, it will minimum take a person three days, minimum. If you read a bit slowly, it may take five days. If you read one juz, one part a day, it will take you one month to read the Quran. The degree that we acquire in the colleges and universities, it may or may not help you in this world. There are hundreds and thousands of graduates and postgraduates that I know that are jobless. And the education you acquire in school, colleges and universities if it does not get you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if it does not get you closer to your Creator, Almighty God, then this education is useless for the hereafter. So the education that you get in the colleges, in the schools, in universities, may or may not help you in this world. And if it does not get you closer to your Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is useless in the hereafter. But as far as the Quran is concerned, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number one and two. Alif Lam Mim. Zalik al Kitab al Arai Bufi. Mudal al Mutakim. Alif Lam Mim. This is a book of guidance without doubt for those who have taqwa, for those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means Allah is giving us a promise that this book is a book of guidance. And it will surely benefit you in this world as well as the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran. In Surah Kahaf, chapter number 18, verse number 54, that this is a book which mentioned in detail many similitudes in which is benefit for humankind. But men is in most things contentious. Allah repeats a similar message in Surah Azumur, chapter number 39, verse number 27 that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in detail many similitudes so that men may receive admonition if you read the Quran it will surely benefit you in this world as well as hereafter you read the Quran if you don't know Arabic read the Quran in the language you understand if you understand English read in English the language you understand the best if you understand Urdu read in Urdu if you understand Hindi read in Hindi if you understand French read in French if you understand German read in German read it in the language you understand irrespective whether you read the English translation the Urdu translation the Hindi translation the French translation or German translation at least 
read the translation of the glorious Quran so that you can understand the message of your creator. I'd like to give an example. Suppose a very close friend of yours who's a German, he comes from Germany and he spends a couple of weeks with you in Bombay. He being a German, he can't speak English fluently, but he can converse with you. He spends a couple of weeks in Bombay and when he goes back to Germany, he writes to you a letter in German because he can't speak English fluently, he can't write English fluently, so he writes to you a letter in German. Now when you get that letter in German, you don't understand German. What will you do? But natural, because he's a close friend, you will have that letter translated. You'll want to know what did your good friend tell you from Germany. You will have that letter translated. Don't you want to know what is the message, the last and final message given by a creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't have to go and translate the Quran. The Quran, alhamdulillah, has already been translated in the major languages of the world.